Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Staring at you on the jet plane. I ain't worried about nothing. Cause you got me feeling like the Wayne White in 03. Yeah, you and me, we got the heat. So bump all the anxiety. But you hit to the side of me. I feel like I'm gliding. And honestly, look. It's Daya. Firstly, so sorry that I've been so absent lately. I have just been hit with so many different illnesses. Like I've literally been sick with something every week for about a month and it's been absolute hell. But I am back. Today is gonna be really exciting. I'm gonna do another lipstick review. The review I did of my favorite red lipsticks was really fun. So I kind of wanted to do another one, but I'm going to review my favorite nude lips. I love nude lipsticks. This is like not even all of the nude lipsticks that I have. I really, really struggle to narrow down like my favorites because there are so many and there's quite a few that are like more lip tints or MLBBs or tinted lip balms. But I think I'm going to do like a separate video for those ones. Let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. I'm literally filming this video right before I have to go to work. So let's get into it right now. Okay, let's start with an oldie. This is the NARS Matte Lipstick. It was one of the first nudes that I purchased. I think I've gone through like three of these. I just love it so much. It's a really, really nice nude and it feels really silky on my lips. Like you don't really feel it. I like to just do kind of like a light layer and blend it up with my finger. Mm. And this is what it looks like on my hand. It's like a taupe kind of. Don't ask me to describe colors. I realize I am actually so bad at that. So I'm not even going to do it anymore. This is what it looks like. The next three are all from MAC. Nude MAC lipsticks. Oh my God. They just do them so well. This one is another old favorite of mine. It is... They're matte lipstick in the color taupe, and it's kind of a little darker, a bit more brown than the first one. It's like less purpley and more brown. It looks a lot darker on camera because it's a really, really dark overcast day, but it's a little bit lighter than this. Nude shades on my skin do come out a little bit darker. It's cute though, right? It's like a really nice brown. This is definitely a color that I go to a lot in Winter. I made sure that I did my lip care for this video because the last time my lips were so fried. Now we're going on to the Powder Kiss range. This is the Powder Kiss liquid lip color in the color Date Maker. This shade is kind of similar to the NARS one. It is a little bit less like yellow and I love this little like peanut applicator. I feel like this is like the most nude shade that I have. It looks a lot lighter on than it does like on my hand. I love it so much. I think I'm gonna wear this today. Next. Our last MAC nude lip is another powder kiss, but it's a lipstick and it is in the shade mullet over i also have this shade in the liquid lip color as well i didn't realize that i had one and then i bought this but it doesn't matter i actually like them both this is just like a really nice velvet powdery consistency and i actually find this a little bit softer than the liquid lip color as well so i do have purpose for both it's like a little bit more orangey coral at least on camera anyway so let's see what it looks like on I haven't worn this one in a really long time. Ooh, I like it. Compared to the other ones, it really does look more like coral, but it's nice, right? Next. Okay, this next one is a little bit different. It is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the color Amazing Grace. I wanted to offer something that was a little bit more pinky vibes for those of you who like more of a pinky nude. Definitely pink rather than like nude with a hint of pink in it, but applied lightly, it is like a nude color for me anyway. So I kind of just like dab it on. 
If I want it to be glossy, I'll put like lip gloss over it as well. So good. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury. It's still a nude, right? It's classified as a nude. I'm not too sure by now. But I think it's a nude. It's a nude for me. We have one more. Let's do it. You know what? I need a coffee break. Look at my cute cup. Mm. All right. This is one of my favorites. I got it on a whim, but I love it so much. It's the Etude House Mood Matte Tint. Mood. I'm going to start again. It's the Etude House Mood Matte Lipstick. And it's in the shade... Uh, what the does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I know how to read it. I don't know what that means, but it's the color one. Look at the packaging. So cute. And it's magnetic. I love that shit. And this is another like true kind of nude shade. And it's a little bit different to the others. Like it's a bit more orangey, like coral. Oh my God. Why am I so bad at that? Explanation. Someone help me. It's really matte. So it's really silky. You definitely, definitely, most definitely need to hydrate your lips before putting this on. Like right now, you can kind of see like it's gathering at the dry bits of my lips because I've literally been just hacking away at my lips. I just like to layer on the lip balm before putting this on. How nice is this color? I think it's one of my favorite nudes now. It's just... So nice. So that's it. We're done. Those are my... Oh. Why? <laughs> Those are my favorite nude lips. Tell me what you thought about this video. If you like these kind of reviews, I will do more like this MLBB one. Um, if you're keen on it, please do leave a comment and tell me if you hate them. Maybe don't say anything because I'm sensitive. So also don't forget to tell me which one was your favorite. I literally can't decide. I think my two faves um, are the Etude House one at the end and also the Date Maker. Let me know if you agree, disagree, what your favorite is. Anyway, um, thank you so much again for watching and don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe and I will see you next time. I promise. Bye. I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. That you wish you had made plans without me. Look, I hate to make this song about me.